Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. Thanks for coming by today for your Take 5 Tuesday. Are you aware that a lot of very successful people in business and even in government spend time before making any major decision going inside, seeing if it's the best thing to do, connecting what they know up here with what's actually going on within their heart? For instance, the great leader, Chiang Kai-shek, he spent 30 minutes twice a day alone being absolutely undisturbed in what you might call meditation. So whether you call it meditation or whether you call it time alone to just hear it yourself, the messages from the universe, it's something that's helpful to do so that you make decisions that actually move your life forward. So a lot of people ask me about meditation. I just wanted to real quick tell you a few different ways that you can do it. First of all, if you've never done it before, maybe you want to start out with just three minutes a day. Just decide that you're going to spend three minutes a do how you're comfortable. You can have your eyes open, your eyes closed. You can sit, you can go for a walk, you can lie down. However you feel good, the point is you don't want any distractions going on. So do what feels comfortable for you and then just go within and eliminate stray thoughts that are whooshing in and out. Well, how do you do that? There are many ways to do that. A lot of people use a mantra. A lot of people use the word OM. A mantra is something that you chant. Some people do it out loud. And some people just do it in the voice in their head. Just saying the word over and over. It's a word that has no meaning for you. That way it's not a distraction. You're not focusing on, well, what is this word meaning? And it's taking you in a direction. Well, other people need to sit in a certain position. But as I said before, you don't need to sit in a certain position. You don't need a meditation pillow. You don't need to have an altar set up in front of you. You don't need to have special music playing. All that you need to meditate is you and the desire to connect with what's going on inside you and what's going on in the universe, the messages that are there for you to tune into. So I talked about having some kind of word to focus on. Some people, whenever a thought comes in, they put it in a little bubble and watch it go away. Some people I know, I started out meditating by looking at a flame in a candle. It's rather hypnotizing. And just watching that flame, feeling myself going into the flame and being part of it. And interestingly enough, I kept seeing different past lives whenever I'd use a candle to meditate. I don't know why. Will it happen for you? I have no idea. That's what happened for me. Another way that people meditate is using what's called a guided meditation. And you can find these all over the internet where somebody's leading you on some kind of journey somewhere. Or maybe they're leading you through relaxation. The point is you can find them on the internet. They're free. You can even find meditations on the internet also called relaxations that are playing technologies in the background. Sometimes it's subliminal. Sometimes you hear it. And it's doing things up here with your brain so that that's helping you further to relax. The only thing I would tell you about meditation that I recommend is you start with three deep breaths, or ideally the kind of breath that I teach people where you start by going in through your mouth, out through your mouth, in through your mouth, out through your nose, in through your nose, out through your nose, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now that, you do three times, that whole cycle, and it automatically puts you in a state, a brainwave state, because it's hitting all the different possible states, where it's very easy to go into the meditative state, it's very easy to fulfill an intention. I recommend setting an intention before you actually do the meditation. However you do it, you do what works for you, it will make a difference for you whether it's just to relax you, whether it's to help with decisions, whether it's to help you to create your life the way you want it to be. Again, I thank you for coming by. Please go down below and click the like button. Share this video so others can get the basic how and what of meditation. And if you haven't done so already, go on over there and pick up your copy of How to Live Life as It's Meant to Be. And I will see you here next week with your Take 5 Tuesday.